Hi guys, well I'm gonna try this one more time here on this exciting Saturday night where I was thinking I might be bringing you two chronicles of the collapse on this collapsing camera, but uh, now I'm not sure we're even gonna get one out. <clears throat> See if the second time is a charm. So anyway, uh, it is an exciting Saturday night, February 25th. 2023 here in the former now collapsed Mayan heartland of <clears throat> Buena Vista, Mexico, where my evil twin was out walking around today remarking on the abs just the the absence, the total absence of fellow earthlings in the Yucatan Peninsula. This is a biological desert. And I was just wondering, what does this mean for this ecosystem? Well, I get home, and my good buddy, Jeremy Jimenez, who I've had the pleasure of interviewing on Collapse Chronicles, has sent me this story from The Guardian, headlined, Eco Collapse Inevitable Unless Wildlife Loss is Reversed. Okay. This is another way of honestly stating this headline. Since wildlife losses are not going to be reversed, but only accelerated, ecosystem collapse is inevitable. It is time to ditch this crap. This unless crap ain't gonna happen, all right? Wildlife losses are not going to be reversed. They're going to be accelerated from where well, they get this damn tourist train uh, through here. Uh, they're going to run over every last animal left in the Yucatan Peninsula. Anyway, scientists studying the Permian Triassic mass extinction find ecosystems can suddenly tip over, you know, suddenly, like, I don't know, 9,000 years since we invented agriculture. Anyway, <clears throat> the steady destruction, <coughs> the steady destruction of wildlife can suddenly tip over into total ecosystem collapse. Scientists studying the greatest mass extinction in Earth's history have found. Hmm. Many scientists think the huge current losses of biodiversity are the start of a new mass extinction, but the new research shows total ecosystem collapse is, quote, inevitable if the losses are not reversed, which they won't be, the scientists said. The Permian Triassic extinction event known as the Great Dying occurred 252 million years ago. It was driven by global heating resulting from huge volcanic eruptions and wiped out 95% of life on Earth. I always thought that huge volcanic eruptions cooled the planet. But I guess these old-fashioned volcanoes heated up the planet. Anyway, <clears throat> whatever. However, species are being lost today even faster than any of the previous five mass extinctions that have struck the planet. See, this is what uh, people who think that asteroid hitting a few miles from me, you know, that collapse happened right off. I mean, I'm, I'm a few miles away from that asteroid hit. Uh, that, like that asteroid hit on a Tuesday, and we had a, a mass extinction on Wednesday. Species are being lost today even faster than in any of the previous five mass extinctions that have struck the planet. Wildlife is being destroyed via the raising of natural habitats for farming and mining, pollution, and overhunting. 
Humanity relies on healthy global ecosystems for clean air and water, as well as food. The new research examined in detail marine fossils found in China from before, during, and after the Great Dying. Healthy ecosystems rely on the complex interaction of plants, predators, and prey with each group of similar species playing a unique role. The scientists found half the species, half the species went extinct with virtually no change in the overall functioning of the ecosystem because some creatures still remained in each role. However, once the last species in each role began to go extinct, the ecosystem rapidly collapsed, said Dr. Wan Zheng Huang. Quote, ecosystems were pushed to the tipping point from which they could not recover. Yes, yeah, so the lead author of the study from China University, quote, we are currently losing species at a faster rate than in any of Earth's past extinction events. It is probable that we are in the first phase of another more severe mass extinction. We cannot predict the tipping point that will send ecosystems into total collapse, but it is an inevitable outcome if, if we do not reverse biodiversity loss. Close quote. The research published in the journal Current Biology examined fossils from South China, which was a shallow sea during the Permian-Triassic mass extinction. The team recreated the ancient marine environment using simulated food webs to represent the ecosystem before, during, and after the extinction event. The great dying was caused by volcanic eruptions, okay, that drove up carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, resulting in climate conditions similar to those being caused today by fossil fuel burning, i.e. global heating, ocean acidification, and loss of oxygen in the seas. <clears throat> In the first phase of the extinction, a sufficient number of species remained to perform essential functions, said Dr. Peter Roperine at the California Academy of Sciences, quote, but when environmental disturbances like global warming or ocean acidification occurred later on, ecosystems were missing that reinforced resistance which led to abrupt ecological collapse. This took place about 60 years, at, I'm sorry, this took place about 60,000 years after the initial biodiversity crash, close quote. Professor Michael Benton at the University of Bristol and part of the team said, quote, the fossil sites in China are perfect for this kind of study because we need abundant fossils so we can reconstruct food webs. Um, <clears throat> also, the rock sequences can be dated very precisely so we can track step by step all through the crisis when life in the oceans was killed by heat shock, ocean acidification, and loss of oxygen from the seabed, close quote. The researchers concluded, quote, a biodiversity crash may be the harbinger of a more devastating ecosystem collapse, close quote. They said the work showed that conservation efforts today must focus not simply on species, but also on all the different roles they play. Yes. 
the scientists considered whether a change in environmental conditions could have caused the second phase of the extinction, the collapse, but thought it unlikely. They also said further research was required to replicate their findings around the world. Well, I think we're getting the further research. Just go take a walk through the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula. There you go. And then build a train, a tourist train, through what's left of it. It's all the research you need. Oh, boy. From asteroid crashes to collapses of the Mayan Empire. Oh, boy. To a tourist train. What can the Yucatan Peninsula stand next? But I might actually come back with a second chronicle of the collapse by this fellow from Medium.com coming right up after I scratch this mosquito bite. Bye, guys. Ugh.